Let's Dine Out California is made possible in part by Tobias Maynard DDS in Redlands, specializing in cosmetic, holistic, and family dentistry. Tobias Maynard DDS in Redlands. PearlyWhitesDDS.com. California Premier Builders LLC, serving Southern California with large and small home and commercial construction services such as remodels, roofing, windows, and solar. California Premier Builders proudly supports Empire PBS and the Let's Dine Out California show. Welcome to another delicious edition of the Let's Dine Out Show. I'm food critic Alan Borgen, the food whisperer. And I'm Isabel Bassi, and I love to eat. And I'll tell you, this is going to be a great show. It's a rest, two restaurants that are fairly unique. You're off the freeway, you don't always see them. One is hidden from the, from the world, actually, but um, they're, they're fun and the food's tremendous. First, we're off to Corona, to the Toasted Barrel Restaurant and Wine Bar. And then we're off to Norco to the Field House Restaurant and Bar at the Silver Lake Sports Complex. So loosen up your build, get your favorite drink, and let's sign out. But here we are in Corona, and uh, you know, this is a very interesting restaurant. I've seen it forever, just again on the freeway you see it, but we actually stopped here and the food was delicious, so that's why we're here. And rather than talk about the restaurant, let's talk to the owner, uh, Ed, and let him describe it. He knows better than anybody else. Okay, Ed, thanks for uh, allowing us to be in your restaurant. And um, now, this is a restaurant that's a little different than most others, and why Corona, and when you, what was your idea behind the restaurant when you opened it? As an investment, <clears throat> for about 15 years, we had a Coco's here. The commitment ended uh, about two and a half years ago. We owned the property, and we thought it would be nice to put something together that we would like. Well, the Toasted Barrel is a combination Mainly, it's a steakhouse. We felt a real need for some really good uh, pasta dishes. We're uh, a uh, fine dining restaurant. We, we call ourselves more uh, uh, an upscale, casual mm -hmm. uh, dining place. Once in a while, we'll have somebody come in in shorts. Uh, and we don't throw Not them me. out. <laughs> Hawaiian shirt and the coat. Hawaiian shirt is okay. fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have a full bar and, and uh, some great beers, but... Uh, what about the, the little wine area? That's, that's kind of neat. The wine we cellar? Have a, <laughs> we have a, a, a tasting room and a cellar. We have about 330 uh, different bottles of wine. So basically you can come to eat, you can come to enjoy your favorite wine or beverage and listen to some great music and just unwind and relax. Absolutely. We do have a great patio, outside dining, and we've got a fireplace, uh, some cool. heaters out there. Very nice. So, Wed, thank you for uh, allowing us in, and no uh, let's join uh, Izzy and let's try some of your food. All right. Thanks a lot. Oh, Appreciate thank it. You. Appreciate thank it. you. Okay. You know, a lot of thought has been given to this restaurant. It's kind of neat because, for one thing, it's, it's quiet and yet it's upscale, but not to the point of being pretentious. And you know, they really care about the quality of the food, the presentations, and I found everything to be pretty spot on. And uh, it's nice to be somewhere that's consistent and that people really like. And this is one place that's, for the community, they're lucky to have it. Yeah, you can definitely see the passion in the owner um, and what he's, oh, you yeah. know, the food he's um, serving and, and the concept of the restaurant and just, you know, the wine that he serves. So, Good stuff. Yeah, definitely. So, let's get right into it. First, we start off with a seared duck breast. It's $28. It's eight ounce of seared duck breast. It's pan seared with mushroom soto and garlic sauteed spinach and with ancho chili paste. I really like this dish. I think the risotto is nice, full body and creamy. Creamy, that's what I like about it. Yeah, and the sauteed spinach, just right sauteed with just enough um, garlic and the crispy skin on the duck breast and the ancho paste, chili paste, is smoky and has a nice salty kick to and it. And it's funny, you didn't expect the chili paste to be with that. I mean, you usually you have it with duck a la ronde, 
sponge and stuff, but it really worked, especially with all the other, it was a little salty, a little kick to it, and I thought it was moist, it was delicious, and the crispy skin is what did it for me. Mm -hmm. I hate duck that just bleh, comes out, bleh, not good. Definitely, and then there's tons of mushroom in the mushroom risotto, yeah. and it's just so it's tasty. It's really yes. good, so. Next came the prime rib. This was $42. There's different cuts. We had the 14 ounce house cut. This is, again, you can order it by preference. If you want it rare, you can have it medium rare, however they have it, they'll make it for you. And it's certified Angus beef. It's aged for 30 days and it's herb seasoned, slowly roasted. And it comes with uh, seasonal vegetables. This came with uh, baby carrots and spinach with a little garlic and onions. And it comes with a baked potato, mashed potatoes, or rice pilaf. We had it with the baked potato, kind of loaded with uh, cheese and bacon. And I thought this was really good. I know we had a little bit of a difference. You like more your um, prime rib more rare. Uh, I like it a little bit more well done. I don't like it too bloody, but I like it rare too. But um, it was nice, it had a nice flavor to it, and it was very tender, and it was juicy. So I really enjoyed it. Vegetables are perfect, a nice uh, crisp to it, good flavor, and I, I just thought this was a nice dish. Yeah, I, I do like my meat kind of running off the plate, so <laughs> I want it a little more bloody. Uh, it's a little bit overcooked for me, for my personal taste, and as you can you know, ask to cook to order, so yeah. you pretty much can ask whichever you know, way you want it's prepared, right. so. It is what it is. It is what it is. What's next? Next is the pork chops. It's $28. It's a boned French pork chop. You can have either brown sugar or apple spice glaze. It's 14 ounce of premium pork chop with creamy cauliflower puree, sauteed vegetables, and roasted red potatoes. What we selected was the apple spice glaze topping, which is the brown sugar, oil, fresh apples, and cinnamon stick. I really like this dish. I mean, I can't even say You wouldn't enough. let me near it. No. <laughs> Oh, I was like, this is all mine. Territorial, I know. <laughs> totally. Um, it, you know, the pork chop, it's juicy. It's not overcooked. It's got full flavor with the apple glaze and the spice. It's just got the tart and sweet and just enough kick of a spice. It's a thick pork chop. It's 14, what, 14 ounces. And it was very, all the portions here are very, very, you know, um, very good. You pay for what you get. I mean, it's, that's the bottom line. So yeah. good effort. So. Then we had the Salmon Oscar. This was $35. Now this was an eight ounce fresh filet of salmon. It was pan seared. And then it was topped with about two ounces of crab, real crab, not this phony stuff. It had two asparagus and a delicious Bernays sauce, which is just a hollandaise sauce with a, with a reduction of, it's a, a tarragon reduction, I guess is what it is. And it comes with seasonal vegetables. We had it with broccolini and carrots, and then it also comes with rice pilaf. I thought this was excellent. I love the moisture. It was moist inside. It was a little crispy on the outside, just enough to give it an oomph to it. And the sauce was delicious. I, I thought this was a wonderful dish. It's a classic American dish. It's something that's been on the menus way back when, and it's one of the few places you could find it. I really like the sauce and the crab meat and the salmon combo. Um, I've had it before. Sometimes it's a little bit off on the flavoring, and this is just right. Um, it has the creaminess and the tarragons. Just give it just that I like slight, tarragon. yeah, and then microgreens on top and makes it so tasty because you got little surprises as you bite into it. Mm, I like surprises, so. Okay, Chef Bernard, we're here in your kitchen, and uh, we're gonna make a specialty. This is a shrimp scampi. This is one of the restaurant specialties, so. Do your thing. All right, we'll start off with the hot pan first. Okay. Uh, we're gonna add a little oil. What kind of oil? It is a 90-10% blend. Okay. 90% uh, olive oil. The red onions, and that's a, 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 a garlic, garlic puree. Okay. Yes, garlic puree. We'll start sauteing it. Oh wow, the, the aromas, huh? Then we go add our shrimp. So this is a okay. Asian white tail shrimp. But you can use anything. You can use any kind of wow, like scallops or any kind of seafood, Scallop, right? Scallops, sea seafood, whatever you prefer. Oh, butter. Butter. That's always. used for thickening it. it. Also gives it flavor. Then right before the butter starts melting, add a little white wine. Okay, any kind of white wine? Any white wine. Preferably dry. Okay. Just give her more of that aroma. Oh, wow. Then. Mm. And so a little brighten it up, a little acid, a little, a little lemon. Freshness. Okay. 
But yeah, it doesn't take long to make, that's for sure. Nope. This is a great dish to make when you have company coming over. Yes. It's fresh and it's, it's real hot, you know. It's and something that takes long, doesn't take a long time. Not a long time, very few ingredients. Right. Um, anybody at home can make it. And it tastes so good. It tastes, so, it tastes amazing. Um, right before you finish it off, you can just add a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. You know, So the butter helps to thicken it up too, as well thicken as bring nice, everything nice, together. Nice thick sauce. Okay. Keep yeah. stirring it. And then as soon as that's done, you can drop your, we like serving it on our linguine. Linguine, okay. So drop it right in the water. So it's pre-made ahead of time. Yes. So you should drop it in the water. Uh, yeah. So just to warm it up basically. Just warm it up. Okay. Um, you can do this at home too, you can pre-make it. You can survive, warm it up. Yes, a lot of people think cooking takes a long time, and it can. If you watch Julia Child and some of her French cooking, it takes yes. all day. But something like this is, is delicious and it's quick to make. Yes. So, okay. The ball in, nice and hot. Okay. Then you're placing the shrimp around. Beautiful. And your saucer. Oh, Just look at that. Cold. Then you can just come around, hit it with a little bit of micro, and it's ready to go. Boy, I'll tell you, you can't beat that. But you know, being a food critic, I gotta taste it, so give me a fork. I'll get you a fork. That's part of my job. Here, look at this. Now the aroma of the garlic. And you know me, I love garlic. and. The garlic, the little onion and crunch, but the lemon really helps to end Yeah, it brightens up the dish. Right. Well, chef, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And, for um, it's a great dish, and I'm going to go eat it. I'll tell you, this is a great little restaurant. I'm glad I stopped in and tried it. I've had, I've heard nothing but good things about it. And uh, this is just a restaurant that gets hidden away. You know, you pass by it a million times on the freeway. I would stop by. It's not that far to get into. You know, when you get off at uh, Magnolia, you can turn around right in there. Uh, definitely worth going to. They have entertainment here. And it's just a great, uh, great place to go for a nice drink. And they also have a little wine bar and a lot of appetizers and stuff like that. They're open for lunch. And they also have a kid's menu. So uh, it's basically for the whole family. But uh, this is a special place. And I definitely, you know, worth going to. So. Yeah, and they do have specials on daily. So you might want to look up the website or look at the restaurant, call them up. Good stuff. So next we're off to Norco to a very, very unusual restaurant that when I first heard about it, I thought it was all, you know, nachos and chili dogs and, but guess what? It's not. This is a high-end steakhouse with all kinds of fun stuff. So stay tuned. Boy, Izzy, here we are in Orco. Now, this is a restaurant uh, facility that you told me about. We were just driving by one day and like, ooh, there it is. Why don't you talk a little bit about it? It's a field house restaurant and bar. Um, it's located in Norco, California in the Silver Lake Sports Complex area. Um, it's a multi-purpose sports complex, you know, a leaks, play here, and also some concert. And all around, it's like in the middle of nowhere. It's like right off the freeway, not too far away. But now when you mentioned this, I thought, you know, the field house, I thought, you know, nachos, you think sports, you think of what, nachos and hot dogs and-, and beer. No, no, no. I mean, yeah, they have you know, beer and wine here, but the food here is like, you talk about really elevated to a different level. I've never been to a sports complex quite like this. Yes, and, definitely. And, uh, it's a California um, upscale cuisine. No, oh, definitely. And um, prices are amazing. So let's get right into it. Okay. First one was a Pokey Tower, $15. Yeah, the Ahi Pokey Tower um, has fresh tuna, baked wonton chips, avocado, mango chutney, um, cucumber, sesame seeds, soy and sesame oil, ponzu sauce, macadamia nuts, green onion, sriracha sauce. 
and it's just layered and, and now you love this you wouldn't let me near this one this is another one you wouldn't let me near <laughs> what did you like best about it I like that the tuna big chunks of it um, good quality there's no it's not mealy it's not chewy um, it's just solid tasty you know They're fresh and cold yeah. and refreshing this is enough I'll get $15 but it's enough for three four people to try it Definitely. it's great to pick at and the different flavors and textures yum 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 so mm -hmm. next came the stuffed salmon $24 Wow this is seven ounces fresh salmon now what it is first of all they work on the crab the crab stuffing first so it's crab meat mayo lemon zest chives breadcrumbs I think more lemon juice so it's, it's all mixed together then it's pan seared um, salmon and then they pan sear it and they stick it in the oven for about eight minutes. Then they take it out. It's served over borsin, which is a, kind of a savory cream cheese type of uh, French um, cheese, I guess you call it. Uh, mashed potatoes and asparagus. You get two different, on all the main entrees, you get two different sides. We got, again, the asparagus and the borsin mashed potatoes. And uh, I thought this is fantastic. The sauce, it's a blanc sauce, which is lemony, creamy, absolutely delicious. The chef is amazing. Chef Jason Lumsden really knows what he's doing, really cares. Excellent, big portions for $24, it's a steal. Yeah, I really like the crab meat. You really can taste the crab meat in this, um, and the sauce, it complements so nicely with the, the contray. Yeah, they use the, the sauce and other things, but this was amazing. I, I thought this was one of the best dishes. However, the next dish was even more sensational. Yes, the hand-roasted chicken is a free-range half a chicken with lemon, caper, butter sauce, fresh green beans, pressed deep fried fingerling potatoes, Wow! and the chicken is seasoned with garlic, sage, rosemary, you can feel all the herbs on it. This was fantastic for $22, again a half a chicken, it was delicious, I really liked the way it was presented, all the presentations are wonderful, and again you talk about fresh, the sauce, I love capers, so it's the same Berblanc sauce, but it's got the capers in it, and I just thought, you know, chicken and lemon really go together, and this is a sensational dish. Yeah, and, and I actually never had fingerling potatoes that's been pressed and deep fried, so it has a nice crunch and chew to it. Yeah, they boil it first, they crunch it, they, or they smash it, then they deep fry it, so you get a little bit of that, but yes, just definitely. excellent. And lastly, the ribeye steak, $39. This is a 14 ounce ribeye, again, it's prime cut, can't get any better. It's salted, lightly salted, it's pan seared in butter, both sides. Then it's put in the oven to, to cook a little bit. Then it's taken out to relax a little bit. That's what you want all the juices to get, you know, to get in there. And it's served with two uh, side dishes. We had the roasted Brussels sprouts with oil and, and, sh and chalice, really, really good. And then a loaded mashed potatoes, which is amazing. It's cheddar cheese, bacon, chives, and cream. And it's just bubbling and stuff. Then it's served over that, steak served over that. And then and topped with that is a demi gloss, which is amazing, a whiskey demi gloss with sherry, mushroom, a little cream, onion, straws on top of that. What a steak for $39, you can't go wrong. I was very impressed with this one as it was with pretty much all the others, but the steak is amazing. If you like ribeye, this is one you gotta get. It's nice and juicy, and it has, and like everything complements each other. You know, the crispy roasted Brussels sprouts, it's that roasted taste, and then also with the demi-glaze, and you know, that, that you can really taste the cream and the mushrooms and, and all the sherry. It's just really nice. Really, really good, so. Okay, Chef, uh, one of your specials here is the artichoke. You don't see fresh artichokes very much, but you're gonna grill them, so. But there's a whole process to it, so let's start with how you do it. So first we're gonna clean the artichoke. Okay, whoops. So first I clean the stem down. Okay. This is very fibrous, so we wanna get rid of that. Okay. okay. And then we uh, cut them in half. Okay. Well, these are really fresh, look at that. Crispy. Nice. Okay. And we clean off this, the thistle here, the choke part. So it's all about the leaves and the right. meat inside the leaves, okay. Correct. And these are nice because they have the long stem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we keep the stem on. I want to get all that hairy looking stuff out. <laughs> okay. And then from there we grab a pan that we're going to braise them in. Okay. Prior to that, once we're, as we're cleaning them, we put them in a, a, a liquid of Lemon juice. Is that to, for color? Keep them fresher? To prevent them from oxidizing, yeah. Oh, okay. And then, um, so those go into here. And then 
from there we uh, start with our uh, ingredients. So we try to squeeze out the lemons. The lemon juice and stuff, okay. Lemon juice. I want you to know that I'm not a big artichoke fan, but everyone here said you gotta try it, you gotta try it. Awesome. So you're gonna enjoy I'm, this. I'm putting a little pressure on you, better be. <laughs> nah, and then we have our ingredients here, chicken stock. Chicken stock, about how much? About two cups. Okay. About a half cup of lemon juice. More lemon juice, okay. Olive oil. Okay. Any kind of olive oil? Extra virgin. Extra virgin. Add some uh, garlic. Oh, can't get enough garlic. Just crush them down. A lot of people don't realize that's the easiest way for garlic. Get right. all the flavors out of it, the essence. Exactly, rather than having to chop it all up. Yeah, okay. So you can move it around. We add some uh, thyme, fresh thyme. Fresh thyme. A little salt. Uh, do you let this marinate for a little bit or you stick it right into the oven? Stick it right into the oven. Okay. Fresh bay leaf. Bay leaf, wow. And then we uh, have got pepper. Pepper, yeah, black pepper, salt and pepper. So it keeps all the juices in it, so it kind of like steams it a little bit. Exactly. It? Yeah. Okay. And then that goes right into the oven here. Okay. Forty-five minutes. Okay, chef. Forty-five minutes at three fifty. You took two out. Correct. There they are. What do you do with them now? So here at the field house, we serve our uh, grilled artichokes with our house-made uh, roasted garlic and lemon aioli and a grilled uh, lemon. Okay. So we throw the lemon onto the grill. Okay. Now grilling is mostly for flavor, flavor right? Okay. We're just charring it. So we have what, butter? It's butter. Oh, yum. Put it onto the grill. Ah, uh, char-grilled artichokes. I might like this, after all. <laughs> Now, how long do you charge for? Just, just give it up to temp. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's just a little bit. You don't yeah. have to require much. So after being cooked for you know, 45 minutes and then grilled, it should be real tender. Correct, yes. Maybe that's the problem. The ones I've had haven't been that tender. They're too fibrous and right, right, right. it wasn't worth eating everything. So it's, like it's almost done. Yes. Okay. I just want to get a little bit more char on this. It's great for barbecue, for backyard entertainment, for any grill barbecue you can use, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Very, very easy to make. From here, we go directly to a plate. Okay. Uh, garlic aioli, little lemon, and charred artichokes. Oh, that's beautiful. A little bit of garnish. What is that? Chai. Chai, okay. And there you have your Build house grilled artichoke, garlic aioli, and tart lemon. And now comes the hard part. Actually, you're going to teach me now how to eat this. Okay, oh, oh. what's the best way of doing this? Just, Just grab a piece. Start peeling off the leaves. Yeah. Oh, okay. And right, right into the sauce. Please. Do. Okay. Hmm. That's delicious. Mm. It's really good. Hmm. Try another one. Yeah. Look how meaty that is. Hmm. These are pretty healthy too. Yes. It's low carb. Healthy, pretty inexpensive too. And see, you've made it be like them now. <laughs> now I'm gonna juice a little bit of lemon juice on there. Oh wow. Let's try your inner leaf. And the whole part is edible as well, so you can right, eat wow. the stem as well. Mmm. These are really nice. Chef, thank you so much. I'm not supposed to stop with your mouth full. <laughs> what the heck, so. Thank you so much, and folks, this is really good. I might have some more. What's nice about this restaurant, again, you think about co sports complex, you don't think about the kind of food they have here, but I think this, the food's top rate. They have a outside seating, they have a full bar, they even have a window there for concessions when it's on there. 
a lot of stuff's going on here. Yeah, and they, they have like 22 beers on tap. If you like beers, this is the place to come. Go try out. And then they have a great menu, you know, finger foods and to entrees. Bar foods, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So. Well, I'll tell you folks, this is a great restaurant. If you really like eating and appreciate food, this is where you got to go. So until next week, food critic Alan Borgen. And Isabel Bussy. Happy eating, Happy everybody. Happy eating, everybody. Let's Dine Out California is made possible in part by Tobias Maynard DDS in Redlands, specializing in cosmetic, holistic, and family dentistry. Tobias Maynard DDS in Redlands. PearlyWhitesDDS.com. California Premier Builders LLC, serving Southern California with large and small home and commercial construction services such as remodels, roofing, windows, and solar. California Premier Builders proudly supports Empire PBS and the Let's Dine Out California show.